We head to Germany, where nowadays many youngsters are committed to climate protection and concerned about eco-friendly energy sources. Pupils organize car-free trips to school and energy-saving weeks in the classroom, and they plant trees. Yes, indeed, Joy. They are really keen to make a difference. We met with Tobias Roke and his friends who built an eco-friendly classroom. Yes, they did, and even persuaded their school to switch to solar energy. For all their efforts, they won a prize in a climate competition. Now they are part of our series, Kids for Climate. These kids are cutting a shallow channel to lay a cable around the lawn, which they call their green classroom. And they've installed solar panels on the roof of the carport to power an emissions-free lawnmower. <laughs> Tobias Rülke and his schoolmates make up the environmental action group at their high school in the town of Pachim. The cable in the ground acts as a boundary for the robot lawnmower. When it reaches the cable, it turns around, and then it mows some more. Teachers are also involved in the project. Berber Lutke teaches biology and chemistry. She wants her students to appreciate the importance of protecting the environment. She works in the green classroom even during her free time. I want to see my students do things at home that we teach them here, like not throwing things away where they shouldn't, or lighting bonfires in their gardens, or driving cars that are inefficient and pollute a lot. They need to learn how to conserve resources. Hannes Fölsch, a former student, is now an energy consultant to the local authorities. He's helping design the school's solar power system. There's a whole array on the roof. It's environmentally friendly and cuts energy costs. It provides more than enough electricity for the school's own use. The rest it feeds into the grid. This display tracks the operation of the solar plant. Not every school is so engaged in environmental activism. Hannes is pleased to see so much commitment here. It's really important that the people at a school take a project like this seriously and appreciate its significance. It's not just about money. Here, they get it. And it's led to more small projects, like the one with the lawnmower. Or the energy game, which is about to be launched. It involves an app designed to encourage pupils and teachers to turn off the lights when they're not needed. Every time you scan one of these QR codes, you get a point. Whoever gets the most is the champion energy saver. And the champ will get a prize. The idea is for youngsters to learn to think ecologically and to care about the future of the planet. Geography is one subject where many of the key themes come together. Global warming means the polar bears at the North Pole and the penguins are losing their habitats. In geography, we learned that the Aral Sea is shrinking and it's going to disappear one day. Out in the green classroom, the kids have been working for two hours now. The lawnmower is going to figure in a physics class. The kids can monitor the level of the battery that stores the electricity generated in the three solar panels on the carport roof, and thus also the range of the lawnmower. If they have a lawn to mow at home, they might now suggest their parents install solar panels too, so they don't have to get the power out of the socket. The cable is almost laid. A score of pupils and former pupils have been working hard here. Soon the system will be ready and the robot can get to work. So everyone can see that eco-friendly technology is worthwhile and even fun.